2023 President T. Peter denied Christ because he was afraid, but I am afraid of no one. To the book, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post her juicy news update. Please click on the notification bell. According to Nation News Report, it was reported that the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Asiwaju Bola Turembo, has promised to fix the Russian menace ravaging an umbrella seat. It was also reported that he said he will handle the perennial challenge like he tackled the Atlantic Ocean in Lagos. The All Progressives Congress presidential candidate Ahmed Turembo also claimed that he is not afraid of anyone in the 2023 presidential race. It was also gathered according to reports when that Turembo disclosed this on Tuesday at Dr. Alex Aquarius Square in Oka Anambra State during the continuation of his campaign. According to one of his statements, Turembo also said that there is a big difference between Apostle Peter and the Bible and me. Peter denied Jesus three times because he was afraid, but I, Tenebo, I am afraid of no one because fear itself is a leading process to failure. Except from Tenebo's speech. Tenebo said he was, not, he was not like the one they called Peter in the Bible that denied Christ three times before the cock crowed in the morning. According to him, what I mean is that I'm a thinker, I'm smart, and I'm a doula, and I'm a doer. If I'm elected as president of Nigeria, I will provide more job opportunities for the unemployed youth and I will team erection in Anambra State just like I did in Lagos when I was governor, he said. Now, let me tell you people, hmm? let me just give you people a tip of the iceberg. Tulumbu is coming out to give us promises on top field promises. Now, let me give us this scenario. Let's say for instance now, let's say for instance... Uh, a man, you know, wants to go into a relationship with him. You know, those for those beautiful things they say, I'll buy you this, I'll buy you that. And the man promises to make all these things and they begin a relationship. You know, he gives a false image of himself. And then when he begins to act based on that false image, he keeps giving promises on top promises. What do you think that relationship will result in? It will be a total disaster. Why not just be yourself? You have an there, I see you have an there. And so coming out to give us all this, uh, he's going to create job opportunities. He has a the ruling party is in power. I've said it for Jagavan, he's going to do more than coming out to campaign. Why? Because his party is in power. Nigeria, as if you want to vote for this man, you have to tell him to come out and prove some of the things he's saying. How does he prove them? He proves them by coming out. Hmm? Telling the, what's it called, the party in power now, which is his own party as well, telling them to give him, he will tell us, okay, on this particular sector, I want to run, I want to test run this idea. They're going to talk about, it's going to be easier, like, because he is an NAPC member. When he tells them he wants to try the particular idea, he tries it out with workable solutions. And then the solution, when it works, he tells them that, oh, Nigeria, so you see, I said I was going to do this and I was able to do this in this particular period of time. I think it's going to be convincing enough because, like I said, somebody that has promised you before and failed and is still promising you again. Uh, okay, well, I don't know how it sounds. So they say, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. All right. Tulumbu has shown that he is a total nuisance. How did he show that now? I've said as little mind uh, we are speaking. How can Tulumbu be a very fraudulent man there compare himself with Apostle Peter of Christ, appointed leader of the church? Tulumbu is very arrogant, but he has failed. Okay. His children that want him to become president should tell their father to take leave and rest to avoid this kind of insult and embarrassment. At old age, Take a bow and go and enjoy your old age. Not stretching and fully one everyone around with multiple gifts everywhere. You go, tell Batman to take a bow and leave the political stage. It is the Batman for me. Okay. My own is, I do not support Tunembo being ridiculed or Tunembo being, what's it called, being insulted. In fact, I don't like it. Hmm? It speaks poorly about you as a person. But what I am going to say is, he called for this. If Tulumbu was old in his house, nobody is going to, in fact, uh -uh, nobody will come out and start saying anything about him. 
Have you heard somebody say anything about which particular person is? Let's see any politician now who is not coming out to contest for anything. What do you want to make you begin to talk about that person? That person you want don't pass. Even if the politician is a former head of <laughs> let me say good luck, better Jonathan. It is only when he's being mentioned in news that people start talks about him. He's not coming out to contest for anything. Do you understand? He's not coming out to contest for anything, so nobody's saying anything about him. They're discussing about Tunubu mainly because he's coming out to say he wants to rule the country, even with his state of health. Even if it is frail and fragile health, somebody. That is why people are coming out to tell him, okay, can't you, even if you, even if you cannot see yourself, other people around you, can't they tell you the truth that, look, oh, this particular, this you of this your ambition. Hmm. All right. Okay, um, you claim to be a Muslim. How come you always quote Christian religious stuff instead of your Quran? Or are you a fake Muslim because everything about you is fake? Now, that is not even the bone of contention. His wife is a pastor. Maybe when they do their money devotions, uh, what's it called, money devotions, or maybe, of course, he learned it from his wife. But that is not the case. We are not here talking about religion. If you're talking about religion, or if you want to vote based on religion, we have left you behind. You are still in the 16th century. We have moved on. Hmm? Okay, such political talk archaic in political dispensation of the current Nigeria. The more you talk like this, the more you're getting the people annoyed and angry. I would suggest you change by apologizing to Nigerians for what your party did and for them to give you a trial that you're going to do things differently. You cannot see this. You cannot choose somebody, somebody that treated your son and your son almost died. And you're coming up to say the person, let the person treat your son again. There's never, there's nothing you will tell me. To give you a try that you're going to do things differently, not sparing salt in the wounds which your party is giving Nigeria on our daily lives. All right, if someone says something like this in respect of the Quran, you people will leave it in blasphemy. Okay, you're not even talking about that one. Tell them to stop fighting for God because God is more powerful than anybody, including all mankind put together. God is stronger than anything you can think of. Leave God to judge everybody than fighting for Him because God did not send anybody to fight for Him pure truth all right nigeria is sick we cannot afford to leave nigeria in the hands of a wheelchair president we need a gallant young man that have vision who will be able to handle the the who will be able to handle it and the person is the mr peter b of people party now the pvc could use talk that one all right blasphemy if anyone compares himself to the pedophile the court oh my goodness Oh my goodness, people will come, people will come, oh. they are going to come for you. This is your comment, will come for you. Beating and considering myself above St. Peter, what an arrogance, an arrogant nonsense and blasphemy. The last time he talked about poisoned Holy Communion, and he made a mess of some bishops. But I'm making a making a mockery of God and Christianity. Oh God, arise and let their enemy be scattered. Well, I'm not going to cease to amaze me.